Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Marie here. I'm going to be building a memory book using these Tonic Memory Book dies. Now these dies have a really nice scallop shape around the edges. There are also five sets. So there's 10 dies all together. Um, you can use a large die to cut out a page. So I'm showing you one set here. This is the largest die. This is the largest page you can cut out. You can notice here on the edge that it does not actually cut this edge. And this is what you're going to be using to build your pages and to build your spine. And then each page die has a layering die that just cuts out that shape that you can layer on top. So that's basically how these dies work. They're super simple and it's really easy to build some mini memory books. So I'm going to be building a Christmas book today. I've already built one. I already did a flip through video on my channel. I just want to go into a little bit more depth, show you how to assemble a book like this and then decorate it. So it's a lot to show in one video. So I've decided to break up this video into different series showing you how I've made some of these flips and pockets. And in this video, I'm just showing how to build the cover and the pages. So here is a blank album that I've put together. I'm going to show you how to assemble an album like this. It's really simple. These dies are not hard to use. They've been designed to be very user friendly and there's so much you can do with them. So you can make, this is the largest size book that you can make. You can also go smaller if you want to make some super tiny books. Um, the dies give you everything you need for that. So getting into today's book, I'm using some of these 12 by 12 ivory papers from Basil and I'm going to cut them down and I'm going to use my largest die here to create some pages. So I'm using my tonic um, trimmer and I'm just going to trim it at six. So I'm cutting these in half. Um, these tonic dies work really well with six by six papers. The pages are a tad bit bigger. So you might want to use a bigger paper like this 12 by 12 or an eight by, you know, an eight and a half by 11, but the layering pieces fit perfectly on six by six paper packs. And I'm going to be using some six by six pattern paper to decorate this book. So now that I have my tonic or yeah, my tonic dies ready, my paper cut in half, I'm just kind of taping them down way at the top. I want to leave a lot of room so I can have some leftover paper to use later. You want to make sure that you leave space on the side that doesn't cut because you want some extra room there to build a spine or to make folds for your pages. So once I cut this out, you'll kind of see what I'm talking about. It cuts three sides and then it leaves that fourth side open. Um, it takes a little bit of muscle for me to crank this through my Spellbinders um, Platinum Sticks because it does give a lot of pressure, which I love. Um, it gives that great cut as well as it embosses those little dotted edges on these dies and I think it looks great. So now you can see when this is cut out, it's got that fourth side is still attached and that's exactly what we want because now I'm going to just trim a straight line and just trim up to that edge and cut that out. I'm going to do that on both sides. You can also use a scissors. I just wanted to make sure it was straight so I'm just cutting it out with my paper trimmer. So just go ahead and trim that down. And now you have your page with this long little piece here that you can fold. The score lines are already embossed into this die or you can go ahead and score it with a scoreboard and a scoring tool. <laughs> so I have all of my papers here cut out. You can see that I left two of them with a longer side to it and the rest of them I cut down to have just about a half an inch left on there. So the ones with the longer edge, those will be your spine and your cover. And the ones with a smaller edge, I'm going to then adhere them together to make pairs of pages. And the way I'm doing this is I'm just adding a little bit of tape runner adhesive and I'm just lining them up and adhering them together. Now I use my ATG gun for this. You can also use liquid glue or some kind of score tape. Um, with the liquid glue, you do want to give it time to dry. I use this tape runner adhesive because it's quick and it really does hold 
fast. It holds really strong. And now you have two pages together. So I'm going to do that with my other two pages. I'm going to end up having six pages in all if you count the cover and the back cover. And that's actually going to give me 12 sides to decorate. So it's going to be a really great size for a mini album, especially if you want to give these for gifts for Christmas time, give them to grandparents and fill them with photos of the kids. I think these are really fun little albums to put together. So I have my two pairs of pages here. Now I'm gonna put my spine and my cover together and I'm doing that exactly the same way. These are all assembled pretty much exactly the same way. The only difference with the spine is you do wanna leave a little bit more room. Now the great thing about these dies is you can make the spine as big or as small as you want. You can make this a really thick book and put tons of pages in there or you can make it a little bit smaller like I'm doing and just put about six pages. I would say my spine is probably about two to three inches um, with my pages being having about a half an inch between them. And I do like to leave a little space between all of my pages and that gives me lots of room to layer on um, a lot of dimensional embellishments and thick pieces, flowers, all that kind of thing, shaker pockets. Um, it's going to give you a lot of room to put some chunky things inside. Um, once you're ready to put this, the pages in your book, you would just kind of arrange them in the inside of the spine and glue them down. I'm kind of trying to give you an idea of that. I'm not actually gluing them in right now because it's a good idea to go ahead and maybe decorate those pages before gluing them in. It makes it a little bit easier to work with your book. Um, and I kind of skipped that part in my upcoming videos. You'll see I did end up just gluing my pages in and that way I could see which pages I wanted which design on. But you can see here, I'm showing you how that layering die will work right on there. If you wanna create pockets on the end, End, which I think is really fun. Cut another page die so they're both the same um, size and just cut out that flap that you would fold over and you have the perfect layering piece. Glue three sides, leave one open, and then you have a pocket on the end. So that's the basic way I am building my book today. Like I said, you can change it up, make it bigger, make it smaller, um, but I wanted to just show you how to make a basic book in today's video. So keep watching. I'm going to show you how I created this Christmas album. I'm going to get into decorating the front cover in the next video. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!